Hey awesome people, I'm Ellie and this is App Chat. So often people ask me, what program do you use to edit your videos with? Well, uh, firstly I use a Mac and the program I use is Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X. Now then people say, well, how do you export your videos in HD or how do you save them in such high quality? So in this video I'll be doing a tutorial of how I export my videos and then I actually also compress the file size uh, to make it smaller so it's quicker to upload to YouTube and I'll be including that in this video as well. So hopefully this video will help you guys out with uh, how to use Final Cut Pro and um, how you can export your videos in high definition. So here we go and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here I am in Final Cut Pro, just looking over the video I'm about to export, and to be completely honest with you, there's nothing complicated about the way I do export my videos. However, it did take me quite a long time to figure out the best way for me so I could get the best outcome. But what I simply do is once I've finished with my video, I go to Share, Export Movie, and then under Export, I click the drop-down menu and then select H.264. Now H.264 is actually a video compression format that was created for the distribution of high definition video. So once we've done that, we click next and simply select what you want to call the um, video and where you'd like to save it and then click save. Okay, so now my video is exporting, but this is actually not the only thing I do. Let's fast forward here to check out the finished file. So taking a look at the finished video file here, if we are to right click on it and then click get info, we'll see that the video is 311 megabytes, which is kind of large, but more so annoying to upload to YouTube. The bigger the file, the longer it's going to take. Uh, but this is actually quite normal, by the way. They say that HD video is usually about 100 megabytes per minute. But what I do to get this video file size down is I actually use a free program called Handbrake. Now this video is more directed at people using um, programs on their Mac, but this actually is available for Windows too. But what I do is with the program Handbrake, the link is in the description to also download this program, is I click Source, then I find the video, you can see the file next to it is the one I've already compressed, but um, we're going to do that again now and I'll show you. So I put that file into Handbrake and now we go to Quality, click Target Size, and we remember that the video file was about 300 megabytes, so we're going to now compress it down to 150 megabytes. But hold on, don't stop watching this video, there's at least one more thing you need to know. With Handbrake, you cannot compress the file any more than half the original file is. So I should not make it any less than 150 megabytes, or the quality of the video will start to go down. And then we would have wasted everything we did in Final Cut Pro, making sure it exports in HD. So, for example, if I make a video that is 40 megabytes, and I bring it into Handbrake, the lowest I can cut it down to is 20 megabytes. So make sure you note that. Um, but otherwise, you can compress any file you like, just um, you can only compress it down to half its file size maximum. Also, if you want to change where your file saves to, check out Destination, click Browse and choose where you want it to save to, and you can also check out the other settings in Handbrake and maybe fiddle around with it. But this is all I do. Okay, so I just talked a lot, but I did already start compressing the file, and all you do to start that off is press the Start button at the top of Handbrake, which looks like a Play button, and that's it. That's all I do to export my videos in high quality and then how I compress them so they are easier to upload to YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, save it to your favorites, and totally share it with your friends. If there's anything else you'd like to know, leave me a comment and I might be able to make a video on that. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hello there.